Hi, this is not a spring chicken. When it comes to stretching your dollar, it also comes to your car because well, we're going to start with car maintenance first of all because car maintenance is one of the first keys in actually getting good fuel savings. Did you know that? You've heard it before, but I don't know if you really realize how important it is. In fact, I just came from the car dealership this morning because my car was at its 15,000 mile check-in. Yes, we drive, we drive, we drive it. You know what? It's one of the most important things to me because to have wheels around here, well, we don't have really good public transportation around SoCal. So it's really important. In fact, it was so packed that when I went to take my car in, there was no extra spots in the waiting room area there at the Kia dealership. So they've been really good to me. And what I was able to do is I was able to get an office, one of the vacant offices in the car sales area that they weren't using. So I was able to work on my laptop Yes, um, while I was waiting for my car. So, hmm, giving you some ideas. But when it comes to car maintenance, because you're always sitting there looking at your book, you're going, okay, we have, when I said your book, your budget, do you keep a budget, first of all? You're looking at your budget and you're going, this is how much money we have, and every so often. Now, plan your car maintenance, because you have an idea of what it needs to be maintained and how much it needs to be maintained. That little thing in the corner up your window is very important, isn't it? Oh, yeah. The, you know that sticker that tells you, reminds you to get an oil change? So this will give you an idea of how much you can save. Um, if you keep your car properly tuned, you can save an extra, get an extra 4% in fuel savings. Now that may not sound a lot, but it all adds up. For example, if you check and you replace your air filters, you can get up to a 10% better fuel economy. 10%, that's, that can add up, especially with the gas being what it is. Isn't that 14% so far? 14%, that's right. Keeping your tires properly inflated, you can save up to 3%. That's 17%. That's right. And if you use the recommended motor oil, you can get an extra 1 to 2%. That's 18 to 19%. Now that's only maintaining your car that has nothing to do with how you drive. Ah, you that's big realize. bucks over a car, okay, over, let's say, over a, a year span, over, that's, that's a lot. lot. Right. Now here's the other part is, for example, if you have a faulty oxygen sensor, you get it replaced, it can improve your gas mileage as much as 40%. Yeah. Wow. And, and for those people that don't know what an oxygen sensor is, it's a ridiculous little thing that every automobile has that goes out at the worst possible time. Oh, and these, of course, can be found from fueleconomy.gov. Yes, it's one of those government websites where they sit there and do all those studies. But it's really important to maintain your car. Now, when you, besides maintaining the car, how can you save money? One is you can do it yourself. Uh, Pet Boys has, uh, uh, like for ten nine ninety nine, they have a self oil change kit for your automobile. You have a self oil change? Yeah, they give you, they give you the filter and the um, and all the oil you need at the moment. That's the sale that's currently going on. Oh, blatant that's plug, blatant plug. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, but it, it, it and it's not difficult to change the oil yourself. All you have to do is to get raise the car up with the jack that you have. You know, reach underneath the car and with uh, with uh, probably it's a metric wrench, undo the oil plug and let all the oil drain down. And when the oil drains down, you sit there and unscrew the um, the oil filter, put the oil filter in the same container you put the oil, screw the new filter back in, put your plug back in, and add your oil. And remember to recycle the oil that you've drained out. Yes, remember it's hazardous waste, so dispose of it properly. That's right, but it, it is a. It, it's a simple thing, same as Can your you air... really save that much money by doing that one yourself? Uh, let's see, I don't know, you could save probably 50% of an oil change by doing it yourself. Well, I also guess it depends on your car because, or if you're able to get some um, bargains. Because if you look in the coupon ads, for example, like Jiffy Lube and... Yeah, but you, know, you watch, places. you watch the, you read, okay, read the newspapers, folks. Because and your local advertisements because you, if you can get an oil change for 19.95 then you don't change it yourself yeah. because they they'll do that periodically. they'll probably lube your car at the same time mm. 
And lubing the car is is something that if you don't know what you're doing, really don't do it, because you have to go get the uh, you have to get the the piece of equipment you need for lubing, and you have to find the tube of grease that you need. And they oh, that don't. Sounds like an awful. Lot it's an of awful work. lot of work, well, especially if you can get it done for like nineteen ninety five. That's like right. Just let them go and get it. It takes one hour probably. Or yep. sometimes your car dealership will offer promotions too. Now here's the thing: is when you are getting your car service, do not be afraid to ask about. If they offer discounts, um, if they'll accept uh, coupons, some places, like, oh, like even mine. I save the coupons. I know they're expired. <laughs> I know that they are, but I asked him anyway. I said, you know, I said, do you guys honor these? And he says, well, they're expired. He said, but he said, they've issued some other ones, but we'll give you the discount anyway. Yeah. So if you ask, you never know. But then how do you pick, tell everybody how you handle your coupons? Not as well as I should. No, but no, you, you, <laughs> but you, you store them, how? Um, I actually have a coupon book that I have in the car, and in it I put the different coupons for places, well, for things that I think that I'll need. Now, this is usually grocery store items. I have some receipts, um, Best Buy discounts, um, two for one for um, places. So, anyway, That's it important. Keeps it keeps it nice and handy, and it's just in the car. I don't have to carry it in my purse all the time. But you actually have to look at them every now and then, though. Yeah, you do have to clean it out, too, because after they've expired, you need to kind of get rid of those, because the supermarkets, well, I don't think they go past their expiration dates. Yeah. I know. So. Right. But uh, another thing about servicing your car is keeping it washed, because they're designed to be aerodynamically sound, the cars. Well, you know what? I never thought about that. That's why the, the Kia dealership washes your car. That's true. It's Really nice to watch my car so that will that will help save money now if you're deciding whether to take care of your car or have somebody else do it for simple things like oil changes well that's up to you but if you want to do something a little more complicated well I guess it depends on you because there's some books that are really good like there's car Bibles that talk to you about maintenance there's other things well I would I would probably say you want to get a book specifically for the model of the car that you have. It always gives you some important information you might have overlooked that's a little bit different than a regular standard car or such and such. So that one's probably a really good one. Right. And don't bother with a hybrid period. Oh, nor an electric car. You got right. that hybrid electric car. Do not try to do anything on it yourself. Because there's a, on a lot of the hybrids and electric cars, there is a warning about touching things. And this is not like the warning label you get where it says do not remove this label from your mattress. That's right. This one you have to really pay attention to because, well, you're working with these huge batteries in your life because you're driving the car. That's right. So on those, pay attention. So, okay, so you have an idea of where to get information. The internet's a great, great resource. Also, do you have space to work on your car? And then the other part is, should you go to a service place or should you go to a dealership? Or you can go to a gas station. Oh, oh that's true. Gas, gas stations, stations are offered deals, too, or with service bays. Yeah, because sometimes they offer these little booklets that you buy so much and it looks like, why should I do that? Because I won't be getting gas. But basically what they do is bring you in and they actually do have some really good promotions. But first of all, it's, it's kind of like, how old is your car? If it's under warranty and has to be maintained by the dealership, Yep. Then you do it. kind of have to go to the dealership. If it's not and you have the option of either an independent mechanic or your gas station, then you can choose something. Like or yourself. Or yourself. Don't service it yourself if it's under a warranty. Oh, yeah. Check it violates the warranty. You don't want to violate your warranty. Now, here's the thing is, if you're going to a car dealership, all of them are not made equal. Some of them you will receive better dealerships. How, um, Better dealership, better Bit, service. Better service. But the other part, too, is I know with my last car, um, I had a Mercedes and I went to a Kia. Can you believe that? A lot of it a lot of it has to do with I love the turning radius of my car. But when you go, say, from a, um, when you go to the dealership, you never would think this. But did you know that different service advisors may have a higher dollar rate per car that they end up um, getting in services? Did you realize that? I know. I found that out later because one of the people that worked at the um, car dealership had told me. He said, "You know, um, so you know, the the gentleman actually, he says he manages to get it higher. What is it? A higher amount per car. He 
says everybody likes him. They understand what he's saying. It's reputation. It's reputation. And they want to feel safe in their car, so they spend the extra money. So for now, this is not a spring chick. Stay tuned for the second part.